I'm Ian Greenlee, and I'm the Senior Manager of Social and Content Strategy at Bazaar Voice. I'm also the author of The Social Media Side Door. The premise of the book is that social media has fundamentally changed the rules of access and influence forever. So a great example I like to tell is, you know, I actually got my job by taking out a Facebook ad, pointing it at the hottest employers in Austin. And although I could not get through by other traditional means, like traditional resumes, trying to phone the CMO, things like this, you know, there's gatekeepers everywhere still. Um, I found my way around the gatekeepers through social media by taking out that Facebook ad. And I thought, you know, I'm on to something here, and it's bigger than just for job seekers. So that's what I explore in the book, is the way that you can actually get access to people and power and to influence through social media in ways that you could not have done before. There are certainly implications for corporations, the most obvious of which is what happens when you're standing on the other side of that kind of transaction, if you will. So you are being accessed by job seekers, right? I did an experiment where I tried to fake get a job at the, uh, at the most desirable employer in the world, Google. This is while well, I'm happily employed at Bizarre Voice just to see if it would still work that I did three years ago. I took out a Facebook ad just like I did back then and 48 Google employees clicked on it. So if you can do that, with the most desirable workplace in the world, according to many at least, um, and the 14th toughest job interview in the world, then there's something at play there. Um, so from Google's perspective or from any company, they're dealing with a new landscape where people are being accessed in ways um, at, at the very top of their organizations. Even if they're not involved in social media, certainly the people below them are. So not every Fortune 500 CEO is on Twitter. In fact, very few of them are. But that's not to say that the people that work for them and inform their decisions are not. So if you can access those people and get kind of a secondary connection, you're doing something that you just could not do five, six, seven, ten 10 years ago. I'd actually say that the ways that we reach our target audiences, the channels we use, aren't necessarily very innovative. We focus more on producing quality content that is helpful to those audiences. And I've never been a believer that content is king because there are a lot of lonely, great bloggers out there that um, you know, want a big audience. So you have to focus on building your audience. It's not just about the quality of your content. But certainly, um, the standard channels, at least standard at this point, Twitter, LinkedIn, SlideShare, I guess, is a new standard. Those have been really great for us because they are established means of reaching business decision makers. Again, whether it's a first degree connection, the company to them, or through a couple different nodes of, of decision making. So I like to say that brands should stop blogging like they're Kim Kardashian because the way that you see most blogs, even personal blogs, unfold is it's all about the author. It's all about the company, how innovative they are, how great they are, how great their products are. And that may very well be true, but the way that consumers think right now and business decision makers, if you're in B2B like we are, they're not trusting the brand itself as much as they're trusting third party sources, right? That's why reviews are so powerful. Um, that's why tweets and other kinds of user-generated content are so powerful. So what you want to do is actually show, don't tell. It's an old screenwriting thing, right? You don't want to just say, hey, we're innovative. We won this award. Why don't you actually showcase that innovation and, and, and show off what you've actually done in a way that provides value to your audience? So if there's no utility and if it's telling, not showing, that blog is not going to be successful.